Hey guys, Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have Netflix original series. Today I'm going to be opening up the door a little more than three inches on the new season of Stranger Things, so if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you go check it out before you watch this video. Smash that like button right now if you want to see more horror TV show reviews, and I'll start scooping them up like the USS Butterscotch. Overall, my favorite season of Stranger Things so far. Also, now that I can spoil things, I have a very juicy conspiracy theory about what happened to Hopper, and I'm not gonna water it down. But I'm saving it for the end of the video, so make sure you watch the whole thing. I really liked the Russians being a new bad guy in this. Adds a whole new 80s twist into the mix, and I'm digging it. Also, R.I.P. Alexi, you will be missed, buddy. I shed a whole single tear for you. Hey, can't get mad at me now, I warned you about the spoilers, told you some crazy What's going on in this video? Can't get mad now! This season has a very dark and gritty edge to it that I f love. People melting and exploding into meat monsters? Hell yes. And forming one collective giant meat monster. That's how you that's how you write a show, everybody. Is it just me or does Nancy get even more smoking hot with every season? Oh, and Winona Ryder too. She's like 47 and she still looks like she's dating Edward Scissorhands. I have nothing wrong with Piper being a lesbian, but God does Steve need a break. He has been through some sh these past couple seasons, man. Gary Busey's inbred looking kid was more terrifying than the meat monster in my personal opinion. But the real enemy here is misogyny. Speaking of misogyny, this show is not watered down at all. They talk exactly like how they were in the 1980s. Hey, Lord! You know, that the soundtrack? <laughs> That's all I gotta say. She got the looks that kill! I think I'd trade my left nut just to see Bob on the show again. It was, like, depressing to see him only in a flashback one time in the whole new season. Although this season was absolutely fantastic in my personal opinion, there are some few complaints that I want to talk about. The stupid Indiana Flyers song would not reach three miles down to where the the Russians are in Hawkins Mall. They should have came up with something something better. They, there should have been something in the secret code that would have said, uh, the court of the stars. Oh, Star Court Mall? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. I mean, that's just, that's me just blowing off something off the top of my head, and that's already better than a stupid song coming from a god electric horse. Hopper was just a little too over the top for me this season. I, I mean, the whole scene where he's yelling at Mike about kissing his daughter in the other room and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mike had it coming. He was being super disrespectful and all that. But I mean, the, in the whole celebrating, listening, just jumping around, oh yeah, nobody messes with Jim. It's just, that was so stupid to me. I, I absolutely hated that scene. I wish Will's character could get a little more exploration. I mean, I feel like the only thing he did this season was touch the back of his neck and say, it's here. Like they didn't already know that a giant meat monster was coming to attack them. I'm really glad that they're starting to use Mike's mom more as a character. We rarely see the parents of the other kids. I think we saw Lucas's parents like one time last season, and then I think we saw Dustin's mom like once this season, and one, like maybe twice last season. They're not even really characters, and it was really cool to see her actually play a somewhat major part into the storyline this season. But seriously, like you're gonna go bang a 17 year old in a motel somewhere? You nasty, Karen. Oh, also there's a major plot hole this season that I don't think anybody has touched on until right now this very second. Do you ever notice that in the very beginning of episode three, Eleven goes to spy on Billy and that's how they find out that he's like, something's f***ed up, something's not right. The, she sees him at the lumber mill and then later like, maybe three, four episodes later, they're like, where is he? Where could he, where is he going to make this giant meat monster? We have no idea. Although Eleven literally saw him at the lumber mill in episode three. So why would they be confused about where he was when he's making the monster? Also, this is me just getting picky. I loved Joyce Byers in this season. Winona Ryder is just fantastic in everything she does. But God, I would have loved to see her house get destroyed one last time before they moved out. I mean, you know, that was just, that was one of my favorite parts. Yeah, it probably would have been rehashing at this point, but would have still been pretty cool. Overall, I'm gonna give Stranger Things 3 a 9.5 Egos covered in new coke out of 10. This season was just everything I've ever wanted in Stranger Things. Great plot, great characters, dark and grittiness, blood and guts, meat monsters. The plot could seamlessly fit into any 80s movie. You, you, I mean, if this came out in the 80s, I wouldn't have known. That's how, that's how much I love this season. That it just, it was timeless, seamless. 
I can just go on about it for forever. Now I'm going to share what I think happened to Hopper at the very end of the season. Now, if you saw the post credit scene, you know that the Russians were talking about some American that they have captured over at their base. Now, everyone online is saying, oh, that's Hopper and he's going to fight the Russians and all that. Well, I disagree. As Plato once said, you must challenge things that other people are saying. Maybe that was Socrates. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know world history. Yes, I do believe Hopper is running around in the Upside Down. Do I think that he's made it to Russia yet? No. I think that the Russians have Papa captured from the last the last seasons. We thought we saw him die, but if you remember in season two, there was that whole weird episode that nobody liked. That literally the only point of it was to tell you that Papa is still alive. That was the only important thing that <laughs> about that episode. Oh, and you know, you could argue that also Eleven found out she has super strength so she could close that giant portal. It was just a redundant episode. But the one important thing from that episode is Papa is still alive somewhere. Could he be in Russia? Is that how they got the portal open? Is that how the Demogorgon just ate that dude's face in the very last scene of season three? I don't know. That's just my guess. I also think that Jim Hopper is going to go in there and just kick some Russian ass like a true red-blooded American. America! Wouldn't it be cool to also see, like, a Russian Eleven? I mean, she already kind of looks like she's Russian, but, like, another little girl who they, they're also manipulating has another superpower. Maybe, like, she's stronger than Eleven or something, and they have, like, a whole battle at the end of Season 4. Like, that would be f sweet, too. I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas here. Duffer Brothers, if you want to hire me on your team, I'm looking for a job, so let's do this. Thank you for watching my Stranger Things Season 3 review. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see all more things horror, anything, reviews, rankings. Follow me on Twitter at KilljoyJake1, and there you can recommend stuff to me. Just tweet at me and I'll check it out. Thank you very much, and kill it out there.